February 6th, St. Dorothy, Virgin and Martyr. St. Dorothy was a young virgin celebrated at Caesarea, where she lived for her angelic virtue. Her parents seemed to have been martyred before her in the Diocletian persecution, and when the governor came to Caesarea, he called her before him and sent this child of martyrs to the home where they were waiting for her. She would stretch upon the rack and offered marriage if she would consent to sacrifice or death if she refused. But she replied that Christ was her only spouse and death her desire. She was then placed in charge of two women who had fallen away from the faith in hope that they might pervert her. But the fire of her own heart rekindled the flames in theirs, and she led them back to Christ. When she was sent once more to the rack, the governor himself was amazed at the heavenly look she wore, and asked her the cause of her joy. Because, she said, I have brought back two souls to Christ, and because I shall soon be in heaven rejoicing with the angels. Her joy grew as she was buffeted in the face, and her sides burned with plates of red-hot iron. Blessed be thou, she cried, when she was sentenced to be beheaded. Blessed be thou, O thou lover of souls, who dost call me to paradise, and invitest me to thy nuptial chamber. St. Dorothy suffered in the dead of winter, and it is said that on the road to her passion a lawyer called Theophilus, who had been used to culminate and persecute Christians, asked her in mockery to send him apples or roses from the garden of her spouse. The saint promised to grant his request, and just before she died, a little child stood beside her, bearing three apples and three roses. She bade him take them to Theophilus and tell him this was a present which he sought from the garden of her spouse. St. Dorothy had gone to heaven, and Theophilus was still making merry over his challenge to the saint when the child entered his room. He saw that the child was an angel in disguise, and the fruit and flowers of no earthly growth. He was converted to the faith, and then shared in the martyrdom of St. Dorothy. Do you wish to be safe in the pleasures and happy in the troubles of the world? Pray for heavenly desires, and say, with St. Philip, Paradise, Paradise.